sorry guys so um 13 cadillac uh cts 36 rear wheel drive <clears throat> differential is gone i'm gonna show you this has a sound got a sound that it's grinding noise uh on the rear so i came up here and then moved this right here you can see playing right there i already started removing bolts so but that's not the thing you see this right here and then it, if you turn, you probably can. If I can turn, if I turn, let me see if I can turn this up. You hear that? Yeah, so we can hear the grinding noise. So I'm gonna share tips uh, the two you for sure you're gonna need to get this off. So I'm gonna start with the with the drive shaft. So. On this one right here, what, what we're going to need is going to be a uh, 18. You 18, you're going to place your 18 right here on this side. On this one, uh, take a look at this. This one, it's a different size than this one. You know, this is different than this one. You know, so you're probably going to need to take this, um, just this off. You know, just take this, this one off, this one right here. And the other one right here and the third one right here that's the only way you're gonna need to take it off okay so um i thought it was needed to take this off but not really so we just need to take this off and then what you're gonna need to to take them off this one's just gonna be uh 18 right here on the back yeah 18 right there and you're gonna need the 18 right here okay so and then uh, this is gonna be easy to take it off because I already got it loose, but this is the way you have to take them off. You know, you're gonna need the 18 right here and you're gonna need 18 right here and you can take them off. Uh, next thing, oh, sorry about that. Next thing that you're gonna need, it's gonna be um, for the, um, let me go this way right here, bro, you can see better. Okay, right here, right there. For the, um, for the uh, uh, CV axles, you're gonna need the E12. So this is like this E12 and a sway bolt. So what I'm doing is, I get my sway bolt with the E12 right there, and I'm using the impact to make this faster and easy. So I just go right here and keep this in, you know. But uh, one thing that you gotta, you gotta do it, make sure you, sec you secure the car I, I just got the rear lifted, you know, but I got some, uh, I got uh, stuff on the front holding, you know, right in front of the tire so you don't go that way because I got it on neutral, you know, initial switch is going to keep it on for a couple minutes. So, um, I got it on neutral and then, so that way I can twist my, uh, drop shaft, you know, to remove all three, all three bolts and nuts from the, uh, from the, uh, differential. So, um, and then I can I can turn at the same time my uh, my CV axis. So the way that I'm removing the CV axis is the way that I tore already. So I'm just using sway bolt and an E12 right there. You know, and just I just kick it in. I got them there loose, so I don't have to do it again. And the same thing on this side. See right there, it's the same thing. It's enough room to play with that, and then goes in there. Now for the amount. You're just gonna need the same thing on this side. Let me see, you're gonna need the same thing. Let me get this off. You're gonna need the 18 right here on the side, right there. Or you're gonna need the ratchet, or either way, you know, you just go like this. It, it's just the same thing you did on the, on, on, on right here, on this one's right here. So you just go like that, and then you can start getting this off. You know, I already got that off, day 18. And then you can lose that one. And then you can remove the other one on this side too, which is right there. Uh, my camera, I can't hold it right. Which is this one right here. So it's the same thing. Get that one off, get that one off. And uh, for the last, it's gonna be 24 right there, which is the, uh, make sure, I mean, it, it should be better if you get a short one, you know? So it's a 24 right there. And then this one is the only one holding the whole thing up. Right now, I haven't taken the bolts off of the amounts and everything, but this one is gonna be easy to get it off, see? 
So, uh, after you get all this off, you just get the jack under here and hold it, you know, get all the bolts out of the way and everything. Get your jacket first over here and then start getting all the bolts out of the way, you know, because so that way you just pull up the, you know, the, you can start pulling up the, uh, all the bolts, you know, right there from the CV axle, from the draft shaft and everything. And last thing you're gonna remove is gonna be your uh, bolts from the um, mounts and this one, you know, but make sure you keep your uh, jack over here and then you can drop it off. Let me do that. All right, guys, so one thing that I noticed is you that you not even have to take the uh, these bolts out of the uh, CV axle. You know, as soon as you got it loose, they stay in place and you can leave it in there because they're not, they not going to be on your way to get your differential down. Hold on. See right there. Let me get the zoom out. Uh, zoom out. Yeah. Okay, so see right there. Okay, so you don't have to remove uh, your bolts from the... Uh, from the CV axle, just lose them all the way and they can stay in place. So you don't have to take them off. Just leave it right there. I did on that side because I thought I need to take it off, but not really, you don't need to take them off. Just leave it in place on both sides. Now I already got those and I already got the, uh, from the uh, draft shaft. <clears throat> now it's time to get this, those, the bolts from the mounts. That one right there, that one right there, and the other one on this side right there. You can see it right there, that one. And uh, and the last one, right here. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> I'm dropping this off. And one thing that I notice is before you start, after you remove all the bolts and everything, make sure that you got your CV axles first all the way out and push it that way. You know, pushing inside. You know that way so get you, so they they won't be on on your way when you're dropping this off. The same thing on the other one. Get them, get them out, push it back, and then put it far away from the differential so you got enough room to play with this thing because, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, let me see, show that. Uh, like right there, see, it's, it's almost one of the side, side of the mount, it's almost on the uh, on exhaust pipe. And on this side, I don't know if you noticed that one right there, let me see, it's right on that, on, on top of the, uh, of the, um, exhaust pipe on exhaust pipe so what i did is i pull it back but sideways if you if you can see the way that i have it right there so i push i bring this side this way to my face and the other side far away from me so i can twist it you know i can twist it and then land it on the left side land it down and i can start dropping off like right now i'm gonna do my best record this part because it's almost right there, so let me see. Let's see if I can get it loose, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch that thing because I don't have nothing. I mean, I have other, the other ways to recall this thing, so I'm gonna see if I can get it in there. You know, it's going down. This is going down. It's going down. It's going down itself slowly but it's going down but if you see the way that i'm getting i don't care if it drops off okay so, and now it's bad so but uh see if it's going down see it's going down it's going down so i'm not trying to catch it so you don't go all the way but i see it's dropping off right now see it's going down And then if you see right there, see the way it is going sideways. So I finally drop that thing right there. Get this off. But um, yeah, that's the way that we got this thing off. So make sure push, you see, get your, after you get all the bolts loose, get your jack on there, push your CV axles far away from the, uh, far away in, from the drop shaft and then um, bring bring the differential back a little bit and then twist it so that way it lands this way not as straight like the way it's like the way it's installed so you just go this way sideways and then you start dropping off slowly it should come off you know because it looks like uh it is it, not enough room to drop it off but as soon as you slide it this way 
you know, sideway, it start dropping off. So, yeah, guys, so we got them. I hope that video helps. And then, you know, same thing when you put it back, you know, just go sideways probably, and then you, you will get it in. So I hope that video helps, guys. Save your time and money. You know, save your time and money because I know how much it costs at the dealer. So around $15, $1,500, you know, to do it probably. That's labor plus whatever things and parts is gonna be around two thousand so yeah be careful if you can get it from the junker just get another good one you know it lasts longer as soon as you keep a as you keep a, the minus on it but yeah guys so you know any question leave any comments i do my best responding i'll see you next time peace